if you stick with me through this video, which is going to be very short, I will share with you a press conference between Jake Paul's option five of a person he would rather fight rather than an actual fighter. Here we go. MMA flips and chill. Here it is, guys. The top five people that Jake Paul would rather fight than fighting an actual fighter. Ready for this? Here we go. The Island Boys. He would say they've trained in boxing and they talk a lot of shit. So he's going to teach them a lesson. During the entire promotion, Jake would be preaching how he only wants to fight the elite fighters in the world while the rest of us look at each other in confusion and wondering if we live in a simulation or if this is even real. The second person that Jake Paul would pick a fight with is the adult chubby-faced man-child who was the little kid on the movie Sixth Sense. During the promotion, Jake Paul would keep making references to the movie and saying things like, I see dead people, referring to destroying the man-child in the ring. Again, Jake would talk about how he's on a path to be world champion and took this fight to show everyone that he's the baddest man on the planet, while the rest of us are wondering if he's a delusional or maybe we just accidentally ate four bags of psilocybin mushrooms without knowing before listening to him spout this nonsensical bravado. The third person Jake Paul would love to pick a fight with rather than a real fighter is Corey Feldman from The Goonies, Lost Boys, and Stand By Me. This would be fun with this promotion because they're both child star actors. They both ended up in an industry they are less than average in. Corey Feldman currently records and tours albums upon albums of the cringiest, most cliche attempted at music you will ever hear. While Jake currently fights Uber drivers and scours celebrity nursing homes for opponents. The whole promotion would be weird and super cringe. During this entire promotion, Jake would be saying how he is this is his destiny, and he wants to show the world that not every childhood celebrity can do what he's doing. During the fight, Corey Feldman would be doing some crazy footwork that looked like a Wish version of Michael Jackson, and then Jake would knock him out and prance around the ring, beating his chest like he's a true alpha male, while we all wondered if Jake Paul was actually born with CTE. Now the next fight, that Jake Paul would like to book would be with Gary Busey. You thought the fight promotion with Corey Feldman was weird? Well, you ain't Maybe. seen nothing yet. Jake would set up a fight with Gary Busey and it would be a promotion everyone watched, but nobody comprehended. Jake would set this fight up just for a quick, easy win, but he would act like he's on top of the world. Speaking of the world, during this fight, Jake would underestimate the concept of a puncher's chance, and Gary would land one big punch in the first five seconds of the first round and knock Jake on his back. But Jake would get up, and then he would gas out Gary and then knock him out, leaving the rest of us wondering if we just witnessed the abuse of an elderly person. Now... Number five would be an interesting one. And I can really see him picking a fight with this person. I can really see it. And I wouldn't be surprised. Number five is Greta Thunberg. Now, instead of getting into what the promotion would be like, let me just show you their press conference. It's going to be a war, but I just believe I'm more skilled. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Look, uh, you know, the biggest criticisms are 
fight a real boxer, fight someone with more experience with you, fight a real fighter, you know, all of these things. Yet, you all come to us young people for hope. It's time to answer that. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words, and yet I'm one of the lucky ones. It's time to show up, put it all on the line, take those risks, and all the influencer shit, the MMA shit is cool, it draws big pay-per-views, it's fun, it's super entertaining, there's more, you know, shit talk, but none of that was really my goal. I generated $250 million in pay-per-view revenue. All you can talk about is the money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? That's cool. But for me, this is my road to world champion. And it's about getting the experience under the bright lights to actually be able to compete at the highest, highest level and to win and to do the unthinkable and to create one of the greatest hit uh, sports stories in the history of sports to go from Disney Channel to world champion in less than six years. How dare you come here saying that you're doing enough? Yeah. Thank you for kicking in with MMA Flex and Chill. Chill. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell, ring the bell.